Pete here and we are in downtown Petaluma today and we are going to learn a new, a new word and that word is Valentine and this is a little Valentine that my little honey gave me it says hugs and kisses hugs and kisses hugs and kisses so anyway we're gonna go to a place where they are going to be celebrating Valentine's Day that's over at the fairgrounds so if you want to know more come with me The word Valentine is described as a written or other artistic work expressing affection for something or someone. And as this taxi ride rolls us over the D Street Bridge, kids, we're heading for Herzog Hall at the Sonoma Marin Fairgrounds to see and hear a Valentine performance by the Pacific Empire Chorus, a membership organization of female singers who meet regularly to practice, perform, socialize, and have fun. They currently have 40 singers of all ages and all walks of life and all parts of the greater Bay Area. Pacific Empire Chorus is a chapter of Sweet Adelines International, a nonprofit organization of more than 30,000 members in choruses and quartets worldwide. And these songbirds are putting on a clam bake fundraiser and we're almost there. Sitting in the back seat is not something Petaluma Pete does every day, kids. The driver was this really cool guy named James, and he knew all the shortcuts, and in no time we were there at the fairgrounds and heading all the way back to Herzog Hall, where we arrived early before they opened to find the entire choral group rehearsing their songs and doing vocal exercises that were really fun to watch. Let's take a moment here, kids, so you can see what we mean. Pretty cool, huh? These same singers also served as food servers, kids, so when they weren't singing, they were serving, and when they weren't serving, they were singing. Hartzog Hall is a huge, round building, and in no time at all, hundreds of people from all over Sonoma County showed up. There were moms and dads, grandpas, grandmas, and kids, kids. Kids were coming out of the woodwork and taking turns playing Petaluma Pete's piano while their grown-ups placed bids in a silent auction for a whole gaggle of bottles of Big People's Grape Juice, and you could get professional pictures of your family taken for just five bucks, and there were singing valentines, of course, and tickets were sold for all this stuff, including the crab dinners and beverages, and the first of two Pacific Empire Chorus performances started before the food was served, and this is what it looked and sounded like. Petaluma Pete then held court while our singers turned into servers and they brought out the salad and that was the best of times kids as families and friends spent quality time together while doing something good for their community. The tables were decorated all valentiney with red and white balloons and these very cool crab signs that had the family names written on them. And there was this very funny couple who really got into the spirit of the day by getting creative with their sign. There's one in every crowd. Most of our singing servers were serving at this point, but there were still a number of servers still singing. This time from table to table in smaller groups of four kids, that's called a quartet, and the harmonies were really great, and the next thing we knew, the second course was being delivered after the salad, and that was the pasta, and the kids and their grown-ups went crazy over it, while the servers back in the kitchen waited in line for seconds on salad, and there were these big balloons that you could buy, and when you popped them, you found a prize inside, and more pasta was served by the singers, and the anticipation was building for the serving of the main course, which was, of course, crab. And the quartets were now jumping from table to table, and the catering guy couldn't contain himself, so he came out from the kitchen just for a minute to take in the festivities. 
and there was this one kid who wanted to show Petaluma Pete a very good magic trick. She was really proud of this, and it was indeed an exceptionally clever trick. And that's when they started serving seconds on the pasta and running out of salad and still no crab yet. But this kid didn't care, and this one certainly didn't. And they were already preparing the desserts back in the kitchen while they were making announcements about the progress and the closings of the various silent auctions. And Petaluma Pete started playing again, and then bam! At long last, out came the crab, kids. Miles and miles of crab. The location became a crustacean, gestation, liberation, nation sensation for the duration. Well, that about wraps it up, kids. But before we call that taxi cab back so we can make it back home safe and sound, let's give the Pacific Empire Chorus the stage here as they perform the perfect Valentine song. And until next time, please remember to be nice to everyone. Listen to your teachers and eat more veggies.